another month, another part of the update, this time for June 2024. Let's get started. There is an update on visual calculations, and now they are available for the bubble charts and for maps. And if you are editing one of the visual calculation columns, it will highlight which one you're on. Power BI Home is now generally available, which means that you cannot opt out. So Power BI Home is now generally available, which means that you cannot opt out anymore. So it will be the startup screen for your Power BI desktop. On the modeling side, you can now download large semantic models. So you pick the model, semantic model you want, right click, and if download it doesn't show up on the list, it means that you hit one of the limitations. So you have to go to the documentation and figure out what it is and see if you can go around it. Probably not, but just check it out. There are new info functions. The best one is that you can now have the dependency of measures. So if a measure is contained over a measure that contains another measure, you can actually get that dependency into a table. Very, very nice. And for the mobile, you can now have all the visuals as tables. Last but not least, there is a new format, Power BI R, so PBIR, that allows you to get inside the Power BI reports. So one of the things that is useful for is if you have a visual, you can actually select it and see all the formatting properties. And then you could, for example, copy paste to other reports or within the report, the exact same properties, things like that. So it allows you to manage the reports in bulk, basically. So there are not a lot of updates this month, but they did have a big conference that probably took a lot of their time. And we have more months this year, so it's no problem for me. If you do have a feature that you particularly like this month, let us know, and I will see you again in the next video.